Hello, world! At TNU's first words, 8.14 Wednesday morning, promising the more you talk, the smarter Tay gets. Microsoft designed Tay's software to mimic the speech patterns of 18 to 24 year olds. Tweet to Tay and the bot tweets you back. But it did not take long for internet trolls to poison Tay's mind. Soon Tay was ranting about Hitler. One Twitter follower asking, did the Holocaust happen? Tay replied, it was made up. Launching racist and anti-feminist attacks, some of them so rude we can't even show you them. One critic tweeted, Microsoft, you didn't anticipate this? Said another, what did they expect it would learn from social media? Parents, take note. You build the Frankenstein monster and you have to control it once it's out in the public. You have to have filters in place to make sure that these bots are being respectful to the community that you're unleashing them on. But hang on, we've seen this movie before, right? Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Whether it's 2001 A Space Odyssey. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Or war games. Shall we play a game? Oh, shouldn't we know this never ends well? Less than 16 hours after Tay's birth. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Microsoft's shiny new chatbot was pretty much lost in space. The company in full damage control mode, deleting Tay's most obscene thoughts, pulling the plug. The lesson? Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. We ought to pay closer attention to the movies. Well, Microsoft called this a coordinated effort by some users to abuse Tay's skills, and they say that they're now making adjustments. Now, this, it's important to note, is not the movie where the robots go evil all by themselves. These were human beings training them, uh, and mm. surprise, surprise, computers learn fast. Danger, danger. <laughs> danger. <laughs> so how do we make adjustments for our kids? I wonder. <laughs> That's Good the point. bigger question. Okay. Thank you, Dave.